time for Jessica Page. The current Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says he's urging the president to slow down on announcing any executive action in the reform. Uh, we're going to fight the president uh, tooth and nail if he continues down this path. This is the wrong way to govern. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said he has also urged the president to slow down on an announcement, at least until after Congress approves the budget. And the comments from Speaker John Boehner come after the New York Times reported President Obama's executive order would shield nearly 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation. Meanwhile, Republican Mitch McConnell, who will become the new Senate Majority Leader in January, says he wants the president to move more in the middle and work with Congress. Uh, we're going to fight the president uh, tooth and nail if he continues down this path. This is the wrong way to govern. McConnell says that although the president doesn't get the picture, it seems other Democrats have finally come around. The Senate, the, the Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid seconded that opinion. We, are, we want to legislate. We're not for stalling. We want to move on to the next Congress with a record of accomplishment. Harry Reid, who's in line to become minority leader in January, says he wants to work together and it's not time to, quote, get even. Also in Washington today, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel outlines the role of the nearly 1,500 American troops being sent to Iraq. These additional troops and facilities will help strengthen and reconstitute Iraqi forces, expanding the geography of our mission, but not the mission itself. But General Martin Dempsey says U.S. troops may need to accompany Iraqi forces for complex missions, such as restoring the border with Syria. The remarks you're hearing are from an audio recording just released by ISIS. In the message, the leader of the terror group Abu al-Baghdadi calls for supporters to unleash, quote, volcanoes of jihad everywhere. Al-Baghdadi was reportedly injured in an airstrike last week, but that report has not been verified. And in response to the growing terror threat, the Justice Department announces a new program to prosecute Islamic radicals returning from Iraq and Syria. According to Attorney General Eric Holder, American advisors in the Balkans, the Middle East and North Africa will help authorities investigate and prosecute terrorist fighters. The new initiative is aimed at stopping violent extremists from committing acts of terrorism. That's your latest Newsmax Now update. As always, remember to stay connected with us at Newsmax.com. I'm Francesca Page. You'll have more coming from me in 30 minutes.